Okay, well that video was a couple minutes shy of getting going too long anyway. Yeah, more memory problems on this. Uh, maybe when this crashes, I'll show you how to uh, restore your show in Windows when it freaks out on you uh, in a faster way instead of just rebooting the whole darn machine. There's, there's basically some tricks to get around it. So anyway, uh, this actually is a good example. Th this will happen to you if you restart a show. Uh, you'll notice that you have to hit the play button on your cue list to get things to work again. Um, here we go. And it's coming up. Now, there is a way uh, to remove that option. Because let's say, you know, what if it's just my front light? That's all I want to do is that I want this grandmaster just to be the intensity value for my front light. So great example right here. Uh, what I will do, I will, you can double click on it or if you want you can double tap your grandmaster uh, and it'll do the same thing really there's there's a really cool trick that I can do and let's let's get rid of that uh, there's a cool trick that I can do by hit options there is use highest takes priority that means if I have another key list uh, shoot I probably should have talked about highest takes priority what it, the automatic deal is with the, you know your cheap little boards that you've used in your plugs is that you ha they always run in last takes priority. For example, if I hit scene 1, scene 1 pops up. Then I hit scene 5, scene 5 overrides scene 1, removes everything and shows up. Well, what's cool about powerful consoles like this is that they do last takes priority too. That means if I ran a queue list or queue that had worked with these lights over here, maybe I should make a queue list at 50% and show you, uh, for example. But if I ha want to use a cue list that says, hey, if this fader is a higher value of intensity, then it'll override the lesser values. So what I'm going to do is hit higher takes priority. And you'll notice down here that the H shows up. That means highest takes priority. What's so nice about this is that if I restart the console, in fact, let me do it so I can show you. Uh, let's. I'll just do log off. That's fine. Uh, you'll notice that my, my show up here is it's off. I'm going to move my fader down. You can't see it, I know, but I'm just going to move it to zero intensity. Uh, I'm going to hit launch existing show and it's going to boot up my show. And you'll notice that back over here that my lights are off. Well, what's great is because this is highest takes priority, I don't have to hit a play button anymore. All I have to do is just turn the fader up and it'll just work. Highest takes priority. There you go. Now let me show you an example of last takes priority. Uh, let's see, I'll turn that off, and I will, I'll hit the release button, if you remember that release button's over here, so that way I know that my cue is not playing, and I'll turn the fader down. I'll go to fader, I'll hit choose three, and now I'm at a blank cue list over here, and I, w what fixtures were those? Uh, we'll watch this in the program instead of on the visualizer. Those are fixtures 24 through 26 at, I hit at full. Uh, let's say I want to do at 50, so I'm going to hit at 50, enter. So now they're at 50, these are at 50. So I want to save this in cue list 3. I do not actually have to view the cue list, keep in mind it's because I've already selected master 3. So all I have to simply do is type in record cue, enter, and remember because I have three master 3 selected, it's going to save it inside of a cue list there. If there's no cue list, it automatically creates it close out my programmer. Oh yeah, and of course, get to know your clear button. It's still inside of the programmer. Even though I've saved it, you have to clear it from the programmer. So now we're at zero. So now I got one cue list that's front light that says it's at 100 and another cue list that says it's at 50. So what do I do if I hit the play button on Q master two, on my fir which is also my first cue list? It's going to, well, I have to turn the fader up of course it's going to turn it at 50, but if I hit the play button on Master 3, it's going to dim it down to 50%. Why? Because my second cue list that I made in Master 3, it takes automatically, as I said, the hog takes last, takes priority. Very, very important to, to understand. But if I, s l let me turn that down, and as you notice, since it's the same fixtures, reality, it actually released the first cue list. It said, hey, you know what, I'm actually, I've got to run these because I'm taking more priority because I'm running right now. It's going to basically elbow it out of the way, put it, not even put it in the background. It's going to completely release the cue. Um, 
can see, yeah, it completely destroyed it. As you see, I'm moving the fader up and down. It, it's like it's not even there. Um, but I want to turn this fader down, turn the second one down. And this time, I'm going to change this. I'm going to select Cute Master 2, because I'm in my first cue list. Hit Options. Remember, I'm going to turn back on. Highest takes priority on my first cue list. And simply all that did is now I can have this, the third master running with that second cue list at 50%. That's reset, you know, the second one that we set at 50%. I can set it, BAMO, and it says 50%, but since my first cue list is now turned to highest takes priority, it's going to override it. Bam. That's straightforward. Very important to understand when you're dealing with. Uh, advanced consoles like this. All of them that you deal with, no matter what type, is theatrical, concert, ma no matter who you have, you're going to be dealing with last takes priority and highest takes priority, and there's the greatest example ever. You notice I can move this fader up and down, it doesn't do a thing, but I can turn this fader up and down, and it's saying, hey, highest takes priority. Uh, but if I have this at full, since it's just a Q now, well, I guess they both are, <laughs> I can just remove that first one and now the last is taking its priority and what's great about highest takes priority it never releases the queue like I said you can shut down the console and I've had shows crash before on me and on the my highest takes priority my dimmers listen to it if they're listening to it where or they're set to listen to the last thing that you heard so I, I've stopped sending DMX sen signal to the the dimmer, for example, at least my front light will stay on as I'm booting up the show. D I do not touch any faders, and it just opens right back up, and no one ever noticed. If it's all a dimmer, no one will ever notice that anything went wrong. That is, if nothing has a change. Um, so, now you get the idea. There's a there's something I have to talk about. I want to make sure I'm not too much over time. I got like a few minutes left. I'm going to talk about uh, dealing with cues in the next video. I, let me just do that. Um, in the next, sorry this is so slapstick. I'm, I'm a really busy person. I do not have a lot of time, so I'm just slapping this together as it goes, and it's uh, hopefully going to be helpful to some of my colleagues. But in the next video, I'll just talk about last takes priority, which is a very important concept to understand.